All right, guys, welcome back to Factorio. Uh, so we're now on version 1620. Um, they didn't really do much other than just bug fixes, so it wasn't really anything to write home about. So I'm just telling you that's what happened. Oh, they apparently, they said here they fixed compression belt uh, problem on, on belts related to splitters. It did nothing for me, by the way. Um, so I still have compression issues from time to time. And welcome back to Factorio. Um, I don't, oh yeah, that's right. I was doing the nuclear stuff here. So... I have decided there's a bit of an issue with the way I do my... Um, okay, so the problem I have is that sulfuric acid is not unloading and powering these back uh, belts at all. So, I mean, actually, it's not even working at all right now, if I look. Yeah, this is like... Like, look at this. This side's not working, this side's not working. So I have officially decided that things need to change, but that's fine for now, because we can actually just get these uh, guys going. So... I'm just gonna get these going because fuck you, I guess. And I have no regular inserters, but I'm just gonna make a bunch and then I'll drive around and get some more stuff. So this is um, centrifuges. So this is going to be something we need uh, pretty soon. Well, actually right now, but yeah. Um, so it's very simple um, how they work. I'll show you how they work, because I d didn't explain it, but this is definitely the episode for nuclear. So, uh, what this is, it's uranium, proce uranium processing. It takes 10 uranium ore and it makes, as a 0.7% chance to make, uh, I think that's 235. Uranium 235, where is it? Uh, fuck. I don't know. I know okay, so this one's uranium 2... Okay, so there's, okay, basically the, the, the dark green uranium is uh, trash uranium. So if I actually look at it, I have it with me, 238. 238 is the crappy uranium. And everything we want, like to make nuclear power cells, we need mostly 235. And 235 has a 0.7% chance to appear. Or, well, it's not like a chance, I think. I think it's more like a, whatever. Okay. Anyways, where is this train? Ah, uh, shit. It's not here. Uh, next time he comes back, I'll get him. So, we like uh, the good kind of stuff. Uh, but I, I don't really know what to do with this. I think I know what to do with this, actually. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Just temporarily, I'm going to have everything go into a chest. And then I'll deal with it later. Because oh. we, we just want to get this going. Because we need the good uranium. So it's going to be like a shit ton of bad uranium, so it's just how it goes. Let me just remove all this, because we're going to make this better later. Um, so we just need to start mining for the good kind of uranium. And now we're going to go down here, because I think the way I've done this is fucking trash. So uh, you need to go back to the other place. So you have to forgive me, because it's the way the new fluid dynamics works now with trains. That is the reason why this is messed up right now. So we we got to change this up. Um, so we're gonna just remove these. Uh, for reasons. So it's getting this stuff going. I'm just waiting for the train to come here. There it is. All right. You just need to go back to manual. All right. So. Here's the thing, uh, maybe I should have just told it to... Well, actually, it just gives me the uranium, so that's fine. Let's fucking put it in here. Fuck. Actually, I could just do that. Actually, that's a lot of uranium. <laughs> that's a lot of uranium. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're not doing this anymore. Fuck, there's a lot of barrels in here. Whatever. All right, so we're not doing this. This is this is trash. I, I I didn't realize it was trash, but now I know it's trash. So, um, you you need to stop that. I might just go down actually to the other place and unload it. Actually, that's what I'll do when it, once I finish with this. All right, so we've now unloaded all this. Um, all right, so I think that the first train is going to have. Okay, it needs to actually get rid of all this stuff, like, now. Um, right, we may have to give this a little bit of time, actually. 
So maybe we'll do some other stuff. But you know what? Actually, I, I know what to do. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll actually work on what it, the end result is going to be for this. So I'll show you what we have in mind. Um, so this... We're going to have to change this later, but... Um, I thought I made a... Uh, I thought I made a... I made one of these, a fluid wagon. Apparently I didn't. Apparently uh, I'm bad. Alright, so we're going to actually have a fluid wagon on this train now. And I'll show you how this is going to work. So basically I've decided that, uh, I mean, this is going to be one of those weird three length trains. Um, and I'm just going to move this stop down here and have these two unload onto that red belt as soon as possible. But that means now we have uh, to bring fluids onto the wagon there. That's actually pretty easy to do. It's just basically a process like this. Uh, well, we just load it up and that's it. There you go. So now it's putting sulfuric acid into the uh, fluid wagon. The way it used to work, it used to be like, the fluid wagons themselves used to be like, um, they used to store like, uh, so this used to be three times as much. So you see how there's like three um, storage tanks on there. So the way it used to work is it was like, uh, you needed three storage tanks, which have a capacity of um, two, uh, 25k each. So that means each, like, uh, each each fluid wagon had a storage capacity of 25k, and they were very heavy and, and, th and shit like that. That's kind of how they worked. Um, but now they don't work like that. Now, they, now they're basically like, they have 25k, so it's basically the equivalent of a single storage tank. Um, but that does mean I just like removed it from over here. So there's not as much, but it's just gonna make more, so it's okay. So that's kind of how that works now. Um, so the reason why, I do, so what they also did though was that barrels like this used to carry 250 units of, of uh, fluids. And so then I used to have like, I guess like 10 times 250 or something. Uh, and then like, so yeah, it was basically the same, the same amount. So basically with post nerfs, I actually have to do this. I didn't have to do that before, but I have to do it now. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to change how this works slightly. So the way it works is the first two trains have the uranium ore in there. Uh, the second two do not. So we have to do something like this. Uh, I, I know it's a bit weird, but it's the reality of how I do things, apparently. Just get rid of this all. All right, do something like that. Because the second to last cargo train, I'm just gonna tell these guys to unload all that stuff. All right. Because the, so the front train, as, I, as you can see here, the front two cargo trains actually have the cargo. The, this one has, uh, the, the, the one that's the third one has sulfuric acid in there. And the last one is just whatever. The last one we don't care. And that's kind of, I think, what I need to do for now on. So we, we got rid of all the barrels and stuff, so it's all good now. And actually, we don't even need to be up here now. And we just do that. That's it. Very simple stuff. Um, this is this is by the way, this is completely new to me. The way the way I'm doing this, I usually don't do it this way. I usually don't. Uh, I'm very sad actually that I had to change this up. All right, so I mean, actually. To be honest, like, this doesn't even need to be a red belt anymore. This is, uh, really weird. Steam is low. Alright, so... This is... We're just right up... By the way, this is right on the cusp of... Of basically requiring more boilers. We could put some more down, but I don't really see the point in that. As we've upgraded this, I'm, I'm really hoping I don't have to actually do anything. I'm, ho I'm hoping it's going to just fix itself. Is this something that this... Uh... 
Yeah, we're pretty much just using too much shit now. But luckily we do have in our car, we actually have some boilers here. That's the 20 I meant to use before. So we can actually just temporarily put another layer down. It's interesting how it's just going all the time now. Yeah, it's just going very fast. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Um, problem is we don't actually have water for this, actually, because I forgot that I fucked around with the water. Actually, we do have water. I'm being silly. Yeah, so it's a good thing we put that alarm up because if that uh, if that ever went down, um, well, it still might go down. Who knows? If that went down, that would be the that's the power to our base, guys. So I know it's a very annoying alarm, but this is the point of it. It's something serious that's occurring. Very serious indeed. So this is what we're gonna do instead. So all we really need is we need boilers to to put more steam in, right? Like it's crazy our power requirements, it really is. We're right on we're right on the basically the cusp of like having nuclear, but we're not quite there. We still need a bit more time, so it, we're just gonna band-aid solution this. So this will generate the steam we need. It's just all it does. Alright, there we go. Hey, let's fix the issue for now. And we're gonna keep that alarm up because uh it's a nice alarm. It's a nice alarm actually. Well it's I mean it's not pleasant to the ears, I'm sure, but you know. Um, you know, the reasons. Alright, so, um, I'm pretty satisfied with that. But, oh yeah, by the way, so like, I have just uploaded, I think, when I did those steam engines that you just saw me, uh, add. I just, I just uploaded that today. So that's how far ahead I am, uh, cause I'm just having a lot of fun with this game, honestly. I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. So, uh, we're, we're a little bit ahead. I've, I recognize this fact. All right, so this guy needs to go down to nuke one. They're almost done. All right, how about if I put like another thing here? And yeah, we need to just remove this all. All right, I'm just gonna remove it, get rid of this myself. All right, so we need another train stop. Actually, I don't even know why I had... Oh, no, I know why I had stuff up there. All right, so right now it works like this. So the train stop actually needs to be a little bit forward, like right here. Actually, that is interesting that you can't line it up like that. And you realize you couldn't line it up like that. The game doesn't let you do that. All right, so we got to do the next best thing and do something like this. It needs to be close enough that it can still fill... A cargo train with fuel. It's so awkward, actually. All right. Let's bring let's bring uh, the train over then. All right, come over to the nuke. Uh, this could be a little bit of an issue, but we'll see. We'll see. I may have to just uh, align this differently now. Let's see how this works out. As long as the pump and this thing feel, because I I've aligned this so that it has four carriages. This doesn't actually. This will not actually have four carriages. It doesn't need four. It needs only two. Anyways, let's see how this lines up. Okay, not good. So we're gonna just back them up slightly. All right. Oh, it did, didn't actually copy it. Okay, that's not good. It means I may have to actually re-add the orders to it. No, it actually has it here. Okay, go back to manual. And let's see, what happens if I remove the fuel from this? Okay, it does add it back in. So, okay, so this is in a slot that's actually perfectly fine. Um, that's nice. Add some more here. 
All right, so now that that works, sort of, for the most part, I, I'm gonna just kind of realign where this goes. Uh, we have like a crap ton of barrels with this. All right, there we go. All right, so that's that's good. In fact, we don't even need this guy anymore. Actually, we do need that guy, I think. Maybe we need that guy. Eh, we'll see. All right, so now we have sulfuric acid in this barrel. This is now done, which is good for us. So we're going to just remove everything here. All right, and then the last thing we're going to do... Where's my big, big book of things like this? I'm going to step a little bit further away from this. So this is kind of what we want, but we don't want this one up here because we don't need that. Probably not removing that though. All right, oops, there we go. All right, so I can do whatever it wants. All right, so now uranium ore to all of these. Uh, it probably actually doesn't need to be filter inserters, but I'm doing that anyway, so yeah. All right, and then combines onto that belt. And we fixed our fluid issue now. So now it's actually working the way it's supposed to be. So now it can be automatic. So it's good. So now it's got sulfuric acid in the first car. Puts all your uranium ore. We don't, act, like, believe it or not, we actually don't need that much uranium anymore. We're actually, we're actually pretty good with this. And so it fills up an entire line of um, sulfuric acid, and that's good. And every other train will basically be like this. So this one will be, yeah, this, that one's perfect, see? So it's a, this one's a bit of a weird stop. I didn't actually think I'd have to do that, but I guess that it was a problem that we needed to solve. And look, we already have eight units of uh, uranium-235, so that's pretty good. So now we get uh, the reactors going. So um, here's how it's gonna work. So the way it works is two reactors will generate uh, 160 megawatts of power. Our current ca power capacity is somewhere like that. I don't know. Um, current power capacity is a little bit less than that, actually. Our uh, satisfaction basically dies at some point. But yeah, we've we've upped our power. Like having 140 steam engines would have been really nice, but that's yeah, whatever. So we got like I don't know. So this is a. It's going to be a little bit more power than we're we're, we're currently capable of. Uh, well, actually, actually, it's basically double. Sorry, I should actually mention that it's because of these steam engines that that's the reason that's happening. So, um, so that's how that works. Um, so what we need is so I already was making most of it. I have two reactors currently. I have a bunch of heat pipes. We're going to need probably a little bit more than that. We have heat exchangers. We have sixteen. Now this is for this is the ratios for two uh, reactors. The ratio for four reactors, which is going to be the end goal, uh, we shouldn't ever need more than that. I think for this run, maybe who knows? I don't know. Anyways, the ratio for four is not just double; it's actually much more than that. So for for two, you need sixteen heat exchangers. For four reactors, you need forty-eight heat exchangers, and this is because of adjacency bonuses for reactors. It, it, fucking weird. There's no way to do this math in your head, really. Well, I mean, maybe if you're, like, really fucking smart. Okay, Stephen Hawking, why are you watching my videos? But fuck you. All right. Um, it's, it's like, the math is so fucked up. Like, people did the math for it, and I have it on my second monitor here. You need 48 heat exchangers, 5 offshore pumps, 83 steam turbines, and that makes 140 uh, megawatts of power. But we're doing two reactors. So two reactors is 16 heat exchangers, 2 offshore pumps and 28 steam turbines, and that makes a bunch of stuff. So, uh, how many, I'm, I made like just nine so far, so we need more. So let's go down here, we're gonna get some more materials. So I, I, I started to make them basically because I know how much of a, of a resource sink that a nuclear reactors are to begin with. I've done this so many times, I, I just, I know. So this is why we also have this uh, thing right here. Okay, it needs pipes too, so maybe we'll get some pipes. I also have these stupid barrels with me. I hate these barrels so much. Like I, I'm never, I'm, I don't think I'm actually gonna ever use barrels again, except if I'm doing that flamethrower stuff that you saw me doing. 
All right, so we're looking for, remember, 28 steam turbines. Now, by the way, 28 isn't the end goal. Uh, the end goal is actually to have probably substantially more than that, because remember, we're going to basically do... We're going to basically do this same layout. We're going to do the same thing where it's hooked up to some storage tanks, and then it'll, it'll if it needs to draw more power, it will. But 28 is the bare minimum. Uh, it, it, that's what the reactors will actually be able to utilize. Um, so that's kind of fun. All right, so let's let's get the rest of the copper going, and then um, and then I think I'm done with this. So good times, good times. Oh. So I'm just gonna make sure I have abundance of this stuff. And let's get get some steel plates here as well. All right, it just it it's a resource hog. That's just all it is. So we have one offshore pump. Let's get another one. Uh, do I have enough pipes? Is the question. Uh, no, I don't. Laser turret damage. Excellent. We got we got all the laser turret damage upgrades. Um, we can do flamethrower damage, or we could do like mining productivity or something. Uh, I mean, laser turret shooting speed isn't bad either. But maybe we should start working on some stuff that's like I don't know, more useful. Uh, we're not going to need these really just yet. We can do Breaking Force. Breaking Force is good, because trains can run for longer at higher speeds. That's what they do. Um, it's not the best thing. Um, a lot of the stuff, like when you see Yellow Science, it's not within our grasp, and we don't even have the Purple Science yet, so... I mean, I think getting Flamethrower damage actually isn't a bad idea, because I like Flamethrower damage. I mean, this is just the time, like, I have so much to do with regards to my research that it's just like, you know, we got, we got time, guys. We got time. All right, so I'm gonna just make sure we have an abundance of materials. So we're gonna make kind of a nuclear layout kind of over here in the base. Um, and we're gonna make it so it's actually expendable. Um, and when I when I say expendable, it means like I can add more to it later. Um, it's kind of the plan. So here's the two reactors. Now, if you actually look at this, it has actually a neighbor bonus on top of it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna start this off. Maybe actually, maybe further up actually. Cause I can just, I can, cause that's the thing. By the way, yes, you can just disassemble a, a, a reactor just like that. Apparently it's super easy. So this is, this is the thing. You see that neighbor bonus, uh, thing it has? So it has a, the, yeah, there's a neighbor bonus that's a part of it. Um, that's, that's the big deal with, uh, these nuclear reactors. Actually, I didn't bring more pipes with me. Fuck me. So that's that's the whole point of nuclear, is you get the neighbor bonus, and then you have to deal with the neighbor bonus, and all that kind of jazz. So Now, this is actually one of the few things in the game. I, I don't think there's many. I think that this might actually be the only one. This is the one of the few things in the game that uh, actually can't be... It, it's basically... Uh, it's wasteful worth resources, technically. This is why we're making two reactors. So... I mean, it, I mean, it kind of makes sense because you can't exactly spin up and down a nuclear reactor whenever the fuck you want. Um, it's a little bit of a complicated process than that. So it's not like the coal that we have working right now. Um, this shit will actually just run all the time. Um, so yeah, take that as you will. So what we need to do is we need to have a belt coming around this. Uh, one... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two. Actually, I'm just gonna do this. It's fine. All right. So what we do here, we do the sushi belt system. The sushi belt system is obviously amazing, but uh, we need to also bring power over here. Mm, actually, I'm gonna just have this thing. Uh, I'm gonna have a car come over here. Actually, let's just. Uh, no, I kind of want to spin up the reactors now. So. All right, so for this layout, we're gonna do, as I said, um, the plan is obviously to do uh, 16 heat exchangers, so that should be relatively easy to take care of. So, I mean, this is one of those ones that's like weird. All right, so how do we, so I think like rows of eight or something. Actually, uh, why does it say, okay, good, I'm fine. So, I don't know, like... Uh, 
I don't know how close I need to one, two, three, four, five. Or actually, do I want to make a rose of eight? Not quite, I think. Actually, yeah, let's... Actually, I, I know how to do this. Alright, so... Um, oops. I, I, I like symmetry, so we're going to do something like that. So we're going to have the... So you see how there's a fire in, and then steam actually comes out of the top. It's basically like the boilers. Actually, they look exactly like the boilers. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Alright, so we're going to do something like this. All right, that's one. And look, we don't even have enough uh, heat, uh, what, uh, uh, heat pipes at all. So, and the next one we do something like that. Wow. Okay, I don't, I don't know how this worked out. What the fuck? I, I don't even know how I messed this up. Let's do something like that. Did I mess something up here? Dude, the, the symmetry triggers me, so we need to not... Okay, I, I see what I did, kind of. I think. Yeah, this isn't lined up with that. Um... Right, all right, never mind. I didn't line this up properly. Let's just fucking remove all this. Sorry, I did not line this up properly, so we can't we can't have that. If there's any inefficiency within within my nuclear reactors, um, obviously nothing will fucking happen. But we we like to th we let, let's just say let's just say to make this more exciting that the fucking reactors will blow up. It will sense it will sense the inefficiency and then it will uh, blow up. So. Um, I mean, this is a, this is very much a game of, you know, making things satisfying your, for your, for yourself as the player. So, you know, actually, there you go. Okay. That's much better. That's much better. All right. So we have the sushi belt going. Now we get some more heat exchangers going down here. All right. Heat exchangers, we need more of them. Oh, sorry, not that these are heat pipes, sorry, not exchangers. So you can tell how expensive this is from like a materials ex uh, perspective. So like I brought a lot of shit down and it's still not enough. So uh, we'll have to go get some more steel. Luckily it's like just right over there. I mean the cars, were oh, fuck, let's bring the car. Fuck, yeah, whatever, you guys will just do your thing. We're just removing trees because we don't need these useless trees anymore. Yeah, this is why I wasn't gonna, as I said, start it up next last episode because I knew this was gonna be confusing as fuck. Like, I mean, it's come on, it's it's nuclear reactors. Like, what do you want, guys? What do you want? All right, let's get rid of the wood, worthless wood. All right, so this is pretty good ratio right now. Now we need um, the twenty-eight steam turbines, and so that's a good question of where to fucking put those. So, I guess like 10, like down here. Now, by the way, we have like, uh, I, I did do the research for something called substations, uh, which are nice. I, I'll actually show you what those are. They, they make power in this kind of layout, but they're like, they're not exactly like a power pole. I'm not sure if we'll use them here, though. Um, the, the answer is probably no, we won't. Um, so, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um... Yeah, so, it, I mean, if we did do that, it would be probably maybe a little bit better, but I don't know. We're putting us all down first, though. Alright, so that does 10 of them. I mean, we need, like, 8 more over here. Maybe something like this. thing is, we have to bring in the water somehow. So this may actually not be the play. One sec. Maybe I'll do... Maybe I'll do something like this. Um, hopefully it won't hit up there, because I'm trying to make some kind of nice layout here. Actually, it probably shouldn't be like this, because I'm eventually going to want to expend more heat exchangers around here. Um, ah. Sorry, not heat exchangers. I'm going to want more, yeah, yeah, actually, that's exactly what, what I meant. I'm going to want more heat, heat exchangers at some point around here. 
but it looks like we may not have much of a choice though, so. Maybe the play is actually to have this go over here. And have this come down. Like that. Because then it's easy to pipe things over. That is the wrong way. Alright, we'll do something like this. There you go, that just kind of works out perfectly. Um, yeah, I want to leave room down here for additional heat exchangers. So, I'm not sure what to do here. This is the, pr uh, by, by the way, I have absolutely no idea how to make, like, proper nuclear layouts at all. Like, if this is making you cry, trust me, I'm crying too. Like... I fucking hate this shit, actually. So... Just say, yeah, let's say it's like right here. Fuck. Wait, how's it aligned? It's okay, it's aligned beside that. All right, so... One, two, three, and one, all right. I don't know how this tree survived. All right, so that's it for that. I mean, we have like four more here. I mean, I, I think this is a bit close to this guy, but I think it's actually okay. I think we'll be fine. Alright, so now, now we hook these up to power. Anything special I did for that? Just kind of started it here, I think. There you go. How many, uh, how many steam turbines do I have left? Six. Alright, so I'm just going to make three more somewhere. Maybe like right here. Maybe not, because the water needs to come in somewhere. Or maybe I just put them down here or something. No, probably not. This is the eternal problems of Factorio. Because the thing is, okay, so we need... Here's how it works. So this automatically needs two power... Sorry, two water inputs, but... Uh, we're going to have it come from kind of the other side. Actually, it will work fine here. It will work perfectly fine here. All right. So there's that. Uh, this is, I know, this is like confusing as shit. For me as well, believe me. Uh, we'll do that. All right. Uh, and yeah, this is actually, this works out pretty well actually, I think. And off this side, we'll have it come in here. Uh. Huh. Man, nuclear reactors, man. Don't fuck with nukes, man. Okay, something like that. There you go. So the steam comes from there. Now we need to bring the water over because that's apparently a component of nuclear reactors for some reason. Alright, let me just kind of bring the water down there. There we go, it's so easy to do nukes. Actually, we're gonna go... Uh, Something like that. We need to bring them both over. Don't worry, I made two offshore pumps. It's just kind of what's needed for this the ratio of this crap. It's just fucking whatever. Alright, there we go. Where's my offshore pump number one? There we go. And we'll just have the second one right here. Something like that. There you go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this will work out. We may need more uh, underground pipes. All right, so there we go. We have it in there. Well, I just want to get this. Oh, I just want to get this baby going. It's important to me. 
Uh, apparently we also need more uh, of these guys. All right. So now that that's done, and now that that's done, uh, we have to do, we have to bring in uh, fuel for these reactors. So that's going to be something else. It's going to be an uh, assembly machine right here. Now, it's a very good question of how I want to bring in the nuclear fuel. I don't, I, don't, I don't really have any kind of really great system for this, uh, once again. I, you guys are noticing the pattern for this. Because I seriously, every time I do nuclear, like no, no nuclear layout I do is the same as the, the last one. It's bad. So this one needs iron plates, uranium-235, uranium-238. So luckily iron plates comes off the line here, just bring it over, it's it's fine. Um, not, a, not a huge issue. Uh, but the other stuff, I don't know man. The other stuff I just simply do not know. Right, there you go. So can I just have it go, yeah I can kind of just have it go here. Fuck, okay. So I'm I'm out of inserters. I'm out of <laughs> pipes. I'm out of, dude. I'm out of everything. Uh, I literally just ran out of everything. All right. So we're just gonna get everything we can from over here somewhere. All right. Give me these. We don't need this anymore. Whoops. Just take that thing with me. And do we need rails? And no, we don't need rails right now. Okay. Get the pipes. Get the Two of these, and I don't know, maybe like a fucking thing of lights too, and um, like good on assembly machine, and that's it. And bring some more, uh, I don't know, I think that's the thing, I think we're good. I could technically bring more underground belts and stuff here. See? There we go, now, now we're maxed on this shit. Now we're good. I will never need it again. Alright, so we bring over this crap. Pretty damn far, but it's still good. Alright. Like I said, I, I don't really know a better way of doing this, but this is this is all I've got. Alright, so this needs uranium two thirty eight, uranium two thirty five. Um now how to do that is a very good question. So this is kinda how I'm gonna do it. Um So I'll bring it in kind of a little bit up here. This is actually fucking awful. Never mind. I would prefer. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna bring it upwards. So that's what we're gonna do. Because I'm, I'm I'm eventually gonna make another. I'm gonna make more centrifuges, but I, I don't really know how I'm gonna do that. Um, so we'll just do something like this for now. So I know it's a bit weird, but yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. It's gonna go down to here. We're gonna have it come all the way down here, and I'll make basically a pass at the assembly machine and come back up. And there's a good reason for that. It's because we would like it to actually save some of this uh, uranium here uh, that we may need. Uh, so it'll just kind of grab what it needs to. Although this is actually pretty bad, so you know what? Never mind. Actually, it's still actually we're still good. You know what? Nah, nah it's still fine. Um. So one of these grabs uh, uranium-235, one of them grabs uranium-238. Uh, two, um, I think one, two steel chests is what we're gonna do. All right, we do that, and we, then it goes into, actually, it could just be, actually it could be blues. All right, we do that. Uh, yeah, so now it's gonna feed this machine whatever it needs to. Uh, we need to also bring more of the uranium down here, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm already full. So, do you notice how much 238 there is? There's a lot of 238. And so now it's going to go and... Uh, it's going to go make some... Ur 10, 10 uranium cells. It makes a lot of uranium cells. It's very nice. Uh, I also did not plug in this guy, but it's just a, it's a matter of symmetry. Is that all it did? It just went to here? Yeah, it did. I love symmetry in these kinds of games. 
How did this not even go close to what I was planning here? What in the fuck? What? How did this end up so different? What is the distance here? One, two, three. Wait. This is slight. I, I misaligned it, I think. No, it's fine. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> Eternal question of why aren't things so much. Oh, because this thing is up here. That's why. Okay. Alright. Alright, I see why. This is what I mean. You can't yell at me in the comments because uh, I'm so far ahead. Or actually, I mean, it's actually still the same video, so you wouldn't be able to do it anyways. You fucking time wizards. What the fuck are you thinking about? Stop messing with space time continuum. Alright, there you go. There we go, that's much better. So I think I had to go down slightly, it went a little bit over here, and then like that. There you go, okay. So, um, it doesn't know where to put the, the nuclear bullshit, but we just do that. And there you go, it's putting nuclear fuel on the line. Uh, actually, why am I making these? I don't even know. Alright, so then we put two... Things. And look, it's actually adding uranium cells, uh, fuel cells, to this uh, little intricate network here that we have. So, I also didn't get more power poles, but that's okay. I think I'll get a, a big-ass pole like right here. Actually, I can't do that, so... Alright, so this is now spinning up these reactors, and now look at the neighbor bonus. They're 100, uh, they're 100 percent. Now, they're, you'll see that the temperature is rising for these nuclear reactors because they're they're kind of just doing their thing. Uh, it's all it's all fine and dandy. Now, if you're wondering why I kind of made the belt kind of loop around, it's for a good reason. So, we're gonna have an abundance of this useless ass like uh, uranium left over, right? Um, so, we need a place to put it. Um, and right now we just really have no use for it. Um, it's just, just kind of the way it works. Um, we, but we need to put it somewhere, so we're just going to put a bunch of chests down. Um, and then they're going to just kind of feed each other. Um, and this is how we solve our problems with, uh, um, where to store uranium. So, this will hopefully not be a problem for quite a while. Um, I mean, there's still chests, they have a lot of capacity. I mean, we barely have any uranium-235, it's just the kind of the way it works. And then we do have one more chest here full of um, this uranium. Because it's actually the one that it technically needs right now. And I'm going to just put a bunch into there right now. So it goes along the sushi belt and then it picks up nuclear fuel cells whenever it needs to. It is now spinning up the reactors. Um, and so they will not start functioning until they hit about uh, 500 degrees, and then their optimal temperature is about, apparently about 1,000 degrees. And yes, you are completely allowed to just step on heat pipes and it doesn't even fucking care. Um, so that's it for that. Um, so we're not done yet. Um, so this is now a power source, but we don't have auxiliary power for like when, you know, uh, we, need, we need extra. So we're going to have... Um, well, we, we, we're going to have a bunch of, like, storage tanks, basically, is how we're going to do this. Why is there so little iron that makes it down here? We are going to so fix the shit out of this line. I am so sick and tired of this, but that's that's going to happen a little later. Probably next episode, actually. Alright, so let's do that, and then let's get some more um, steam turbines going. How many things do we need? So, once again, we can just... Kind of grab a bunch of these. This requires so much stuff. Um, we need copper plates again. Like I said, it's like the eternal question. Alright. So I, I'd say, I don't know. I don't know how many turbines I need. By the way, each turbine... So the steam engines required um, 900... Uh, sorry, they, 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 cons they make 900 kilowatts. These steam turbines, when they're at full operating power, make uh, 5.8 megawatts. So that's a lot. Um, it's very nice, actually. They're very, very good. So I would say maybe 20 steam turbines? 
maybe? Um, I don't think we would have the capacity for that. Maybe 14 would be actually a good number, honestly. Now I look at this. Oh, we'll say like 16 or something, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just fucking just see where this goes. Here, dude, you just bring me another two stacks of these. Look, it's fucking copper again. Copper is never the problem. Copper is a good boy. Alright, I don't know why I have so much copper with me now. But we'll just keep it the way it is. Alright, actually we really don't need this much copper. <laughs> I don't know how I got this much, but fuck. There, you guys take all this copper. I don't want it. Who else wants copper? Someone else clearly wants to want copper. There, you guys want copper too. Okay, that's, that's a little bit more manageable. Alright, so... Now, the next uh, thing we do is because of the way we do this stuff, so we're going to have basically the same system that you see here. It's going to have feed steam into these uh, little fucking bullshit things. And then we're going to basically just kind of... That's why I left a little bit of room on these sides, by the way. And that's why they all connect to this side as well. It's uh, because I wanted to have it feed into... Uh, a ton of pipe, a ton of things here. And there you go, steam is coming through. Um, I feel like I can have like two more of these things, maybe. And so now this 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 sushi belt is completely lined full of uh, reactor fuel, so that's good too. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, steam turbines here. And actually, we should probably have a pump as well. Uh, but we don't actually have the capacity for that. Do I actually have a pump with me, though? No. No, we don't. All right, I'm just going to go down here and get a pump. Because um, we want our steam to be one way, once again. Uh, I, I mean, it's a recurring theme, I know. Um, and by the way, so... Remember what I said like last episode-ish or something? Like how I was going to do this? Um, so because of the fact that the steam goes into these um, storage tanks, uh, that's kind of the way this was supposed to originally work. Is we were going to have... Um, basically we were just going to do this the entire time. Right, here we go. So... This is actually the original plan. Uh, we, we were gonna, we were going to bring the uh, steam to outpost. Let's say I made an outpost over here. I'd, I'd bring it to the outpost and then have the uh, steam turbines power it. Um, obviously, that didn't pan out because I changed my mind. Um, I decided that actually wasn't really a good idea. Uh, but I mean, it, it was an, it was an idea. It just didn't work for Death World. So if we look at our power capacity now, we're at about, um, I mean, the production looks like it should be much larger than that, but it's because that these, these reactors aren't actually at full operating capacity yet. So once they get up to full operating capacity, also these may not, I think half of these are not actually hooked into the network. Yeah, I can actually tell you that's actually the case right now. Uh, let's see, can I just do something like this? There you go. So now if we look at our power, um, the steam turbines are doing a great deal of it. Um, so that's pretty good. So then the very last fix we're going to do for this is... Uh, we're going to do a couple of these. So this, once again, works the same way, same principles. So these come directly from these guys. And this is just our auxiliary backup kind of like power. Once again, works on the same principle. I'll probably even hook up a little alarm to it and all that kind of jazz. But very simple stuff. How many more steam turbines do I have? I don't think I have that many more. I don't think I even want that many more, honestly. There you go. It's just a bunch of steam in the steam here. Just to keep us backed up here. 
So if we actually look at our power capacity, it's uh, you can see the bar is way low, but our our capacity is on the level of like it's 140 megawatts for just this reactor to to run all the time. It's actually much more than that because I just increased the amount of uh, um, steam turbines we have. So that's that. Um, pretty good shit. Pretty good shit, I have to say. Uh, but this is now officially done, I would say. Um, so, like, we don't have any Uranium-235 back up here. But, I mean, it's just a matter of, like, making some more of these... Because look, look how much Uranium we have coming in. It's fucking stupid. So, I mean, we can we can do that right now, actually. So we need, like, ten more... Um, turbine... Uh, t ten more centrifuges. And once we get the centrifuges working, then we're good. So this can eventually be expanded to, uh, like, another layer of um, steam turbines and all that kind of stuff. So that I, I'm not really too concerned with that. Uh, so that's good. Uh, what do I want? I want Reddit... Oh, that yeah, Reddit. Fuck that site. Um, I wanted... Red chips. Of course, someone's gonna... Now take my off comment, comment very seriously, but they really shouldn't. All right, we're gonna bring as many of these as possible. We need concrete now. Once again, we we did luckily make a ton of concrete over here somewhere. Still good. All right, how many more centrifuges can we make? My God, the amount of advanced circuits we need for this garbage. All right, <clears throat> we're nearing the end of this, but I, I just wanted to get the, the, these last centrifuges going. Uh, can I insert steel plate, player inventory full? Like, like, once again, red chips. But it's always red chips. That's that's how that's how these work. It's just, what the fuck? How many centrifuges do I have right now? Not enough. That's the answer. But that's why I had an entire box full of concrete, because I didn't think I'd make it like any other time. It just that this is uh, this is why it's such a late game thing. It's like a resource hog. All right, so we need two more centrifuges, and then I think I'm good. It's a bit of a resource hog, but that's why I you saw me taking it off the line before, before before I even started making this stuff because I wanted the line to back up again so I could just take more of it. All right, that's it. We're done with that. So let's head back up here. We're going to make the remainder of the centrifuges because we want it to process this uranium ore slightly faster. Because, um, you know, we, we need it. Also, there's a chest here full of crap, so let's just... Uh... Not insert steel chest. Player inventory is full. Oh, whatever. Actually, wait. This I can just remove this and put it over here somewhere. There you go. Plenty of your... Uh, the crappy uranium. We're, as I said, we're looking for the good uranium. That's that's what we're trying to do. And that just takes a while. Wow, we actually need more. Because I put like 12 here instead. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to use this one. You guys don't tell me what to do. So we copy, copy over the same kind of steel processing over as well. Apparently I need a lot more uh, fast inserters too. We're gonna make somewhere to make inserters as well. Soon. TM. Soonish. Alright, so this is going now. Somewhere to offload anything it makes. Yeah, like I said, if I ever see a nuclear reactor uh, IRL, I will, I will not touch it. I will let the professionals handle it. All right, there we go. Oh. So it's gonna be just making generally a lot of shitty uranium, and that's kind of how this works. Is just you know, it's a fickle mistress uh, uranium is, but. You know, you get enough centrifuges going. It also has that, that very nice glow to it, too. I'm actually going to light up some of my uh, reactor here. Because, I mean, it looks fucking cool, so. Do 
Do something like this. Beside every single one is a light. There you go. Now we're now we're working on a sticks. That's how much we don't care. All right, so um, that's basically it for that. Uh, so if we actually look at our power capacity now, I mean, it doesn't really tell you the full power capacity, but as you see that bar is way low, and the, the game right now it has no trouble like determining this. So the reactors are now at like 900 degrees. And like I said, they will just continue consuming uranium cells. It will never stop doing that. Also, there's a, a very important thing I almost forgot to do. Uh, it needs a way of discarding old uranium cells. So we're going to kind of make a system over here. There's a use for it a little bit later, but we can just kind of throw it into these chests for now and not really worry about it. You can actually reuse uranium cells. It's like a, uh, not here, uh, this one. Yeah, you can get back uh, a bit of um, uh, the shit uranium from the used up uranium cells. Like, you can see we've already used up three. And this is the reason why we're only going with two reactors, because, as I said, it's going to use the same amount all the time. It, ne it never scales down. So it just, it kind of just makes sense to, to, do, to do it like the way I'm doing, so... So like I said, the sushi belt will continue, um, and, and it's already, it, as you can see, it already can't put anything down. So you'll see that this chest will also fill up with stuff as well. Um, but yeah, it's that's kind of just the way this works. Um, so it's going to make steam, and the steam is going to be uh, 500 degrees. If you actually look at the storage tanks here, it tells you the temperature of the steam is 500 degrees. And that's why you can't just fool the game into thinking, oh, I'm going to hook up like like uh, steam turbines to fucking uh, boiler steam. No, boiler steam is uh, 165 degrees. So and you can even see inside the storage tanks, it's only 165 degrees. So um, that's why you can't cheat the system before you even thought about it. You thought you maybe thought like, hey, they, they both generate steam. Why can't you just use steam turbines? Yeah, no, the game knows the difference. So uh, with that being said, um, we're done with this stuff. We don't we don't need this shit anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking remove the coal from this line. Because we actually don't need this anymore. You do whatever you want. Uh, sirs. So we're gonna do something like this. Uh, yeah, we're done with um, this kind of... This is like the most satisfying part of the game. Uh, which I may skip because I think that... Uh, I think that we're like running out of time like so fast right now Because yeah, so uh, just to give you an example look at my pollution cloud right now. and We'll see what it is at the end of this um, Process so let me just remove all this crap. All right, so interesting fact. I think I just depowered my entire factory somehow I'm Not sure how I think um, thing is though this all works So I'm not sure why nothing else works <laughs> Whatever, we'll just, uh, we'll just fix it with some, uh, power lines, I guess. Like, the, the turrets didn't stop working, so, I mean, that's nice, I guess. Let's kind of put it down here, then. I'm not sure why that happened, but... There we go, whoops. Alright, there we go, now the factory's back up. So you can see now uh, that there's 20 steam engines that are still running. We're almost done here. Um, by the way, the, the, we're still not off coal. Um, the coal is still used for the furnaces, uh, but we're going to fix that all in due time. I'm just uh, going to have my little guys work on this stuff. Let's just do this. Uh, this is now not powered, but it's because this was dependent upon something over here. There you go. This is the problem when you don't have any good way of doing your, uh, things that you're supposed to. Alright, so my player inventory is full. Let's just put away these, uh, useless ass barrels. Yeah, you guys can come back. So it's still giving me coal and stuff into my actual inventory. That's a lot of steam engines I have, I would say. Just a little bit, but we don't need them anymore. Because um, <clears throat> we're still on the side of 
That's a lot of uh, power capacity we have there that we can spin up at any moment, so it's very good. So you can see it's just uh, all getting rid of it. I, I sped up most of it, but I figured it was interesting that my uh, some of my stuff ran out here. So you can see that, like, yeah, it's just this stuff is not needed anymore. So this leaves, this frees up a fair bit of space actually for us. Uh, pollution cloud is still going. Like I said, the only reason you see it like completely dropping off here is because um, the one, the best thing for actually uh, absorbing pollution is actually biter nests. Biter nests have very, very high pollution uh, like absorption, extremely high. Because uh, that's what they do, is they absorb pollution to make more of themselves, so, you know, they this is how they reproduce. The more you know. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this crap. Looks like we're almost done with this stuff. And yeah, this one's now out of, uh, some stuff, so most of the factory's now running upon, oops, uh... Most of this factory is now running upon these three miners, which isn't good. We're going to actually remove that in just a second. Uh, we're going to, well, not remove that. We're going to more like fix it. Uh, which means we're going to bring the coal up here, but, you know, it's whatever. Wow, isn't this fu isn't this something else, guys? Just like the fucking, like... Removing that is so satisfying, actually. Like, I just, I, I just like that. So these are the old... Um, old things I had there, and that's it. So, uh, we need to fix our lines here, so this is, should be pretty easy to do. What did I have over here originally? This is uh, originally supposed to be the other stuff. Yeah, we can just remove most of this. Oh yeah, that's right, this is, I hooked in this stuff weirdly. Alright. I'll go like, I don't know, like over here somewhere. And we will eventually use this stuff for something else. Fucking hell, did I really? So it's very simple. What we need to do, we just need to bring all the coal up here, I guess, temporarily. But we would prefer that it uses up the mine over here first, so, cause then I don't have to deal with this anymore. What's, it, what's this water pipe here? Fucking hell. It's like, there's like, I have a random like thing of full of stone. So this will saturate everything under the sun for a little bit longer. Uh, these coal miners don't have that much left in them. They have a little bit left in them, but not that much. Fuck. My inventory is full of basically steam engines. <laughs> uh, and th the thing is, we don't need them anymore. Like, we're actually done. Also, I did I did hook up this guy to this line here, full of for coal, so this guy does have coal again. Don't worry about that. Um, it, before anyone pointed it out, I, I did realize that was a, a problem case. All right, that's it for that. Um, let's see here. Why the fuck? Why the fuck does it just like edge up here? Like I don't even know what the fuck I did with this stuff half the time. All right, so this can now go away because we no longer have steam to worry about. And I think there is yeah, there's some steam in these pipes too. We don't need steam pipes anymore. Steam is a useless service. I mean, sorry, what was I talking about? I don't know. Um, yeah, we just get rid of this crap. There you go. That's it for the steam pipes. Look how much look how much space that clears up, because I I put this simply in just another place, you know. Wow, really? Do I have like any kind of like fuck, I have coal. It's kind of useless. But really? Oh no, this is this is the wrong kind of um furnace for this. Whoops. Oh, um, so, oh, that's out of power. Uh, not a good thing to do that. 
There you go. Okay, I was wondering why, like, all of a sudden every single fucking line stopped. Yeah, I've done that several times now, by the way. Uh, no shame at all. Yeah, we have a couple options and stuff, but yeah. I think I'm gonna need to... Put this shit into, like, boxes or something, honestly. There you go. Let's just get, get get rid of all this, because we don't we don't need it anymore. We just we simply don't need it. It's not even a part of the network anymore. See now we have 80 megawatts being generated by 44 steam turbines, and you multiply that by 5.8 megawatts. That's that's our power capacity right now. So uh, we've upgraded. We've upgraded significantly. And if we actually kind of look at our, because remember it's going to be generating steam all the time. So if I had a guess, I would say that these steam uh, things are actually pretty full, and it would appear to be the case. Just because that these things are running all the time, that's also a bit of an issue. So, you know. I kind of wish I could make a system where these were only used if they were needed, but, I mean, because that's, that's the problem right now, is that the steam doesn't actually make it to the turbines quite yet. I mean, the best solution for this would be to actually just to make a, only like one row here and then another row down there, which you may actually do instead of what I just did there. Because it's uh, there's also capacity for the pipes. Maybe I'll do that after the break, guys. Guys, we're actually pretty good here. Um, so next episode, we're going to work on to electric furnaces because now we actually have the power capacity to support that. So, I mean, look at our pollution. It's actually not really dropped all that much. Um, I mean, it's still nice because the evolution factor will be not going as high all the time. Because remember, it's, it is based upon global pollution. We've contributed 58% to that. Uh, so yeah, it's based upon global pollution, but we've reduced our pollution. So that won't, that will kind of stagnate the rate of that. But yeah, so I'm going to work on this a little bit and then next time, yeah. Uh, so see you later, guys. Bye.